So as I understand it, there are low and high complexity organisms and living mass sheds entropy in order to maintain complexity. I would think that more complex organisms would need to shed more entropy in order to maintain their complexity. I think generally there's a risk of entropy leaking back into, into an entity that is shedding entropy. For example, waste materials in, in raw food, for example, um, for example, uh, refuse from a chemical plant going into a lake where people are fishing, an example. Um, as far as I can tell, there are three ways an organism can deal with uh, entropy imparted onto it. And the entropy can be imparted onto it by the environment or another organism. Uh, one would be to shed entropy to low complexity mass, which is, is existentially optimistic. Um, I would understand it. it's ethical to shed entropy to low complexity organisms and low complexity mass in general. So to do this, um, we use tools as entropy pathways um, in order to shed entropy to low complexity mass. Uh, uh, as, as, as I understand it, it would involve uh, more complexity solving. For example, a factory owner might use automation and distribute profits to people. Um, or a person might eat tissue engineered meat instead of meat directly from an animal. Uh, another way an organism can shed uh, can shed entropy is to shed entropy to high complexity mass, which I would understand is unethical. To to um, to shed entropy to high complexity organisms. Um, for example, a factory owner might use labor that is poorly paid, um, which would mean the factory owner is shedding entropy to the labor. I would think that learning systems observing uh, this pessimistic way of dealing with entropy may actually add complexity to shedding entropy to high complexity organisms. So, so they would actually resist resist this. Uh, any any entities observing this this means of shedding entropy may actually add complexity to this means of shedding entropy. And of, of course, the other way an organism can deal with entropy is to completely succumb to it. It's interesting that the three ways an organism can deal with entropy correspond to um, complexity solving. One, complexity solving, which is good. Uh, two, so-called evil. Right? And three, death. Um, so I imagine that there's this massive directed graph structure of entropy transactions going on all the time. 